All right. What room are we in right now? We're in the bathroom. See this room right here? This is where idiots do the most thinking. And by idiots, I mean, yes, real, the real idiots. They're over here. Yes, I think here too. But I contemplate a lot right here when I take the bath. But this isn't where most of my thinking is coming from. I'm in a constant state of thinking. He probably keeps opening that shit. As a result, I realized that um, the whole, there's this thing about the propagation of people into sadism, and it's a concept that a lot of my friends have spoken about, and in the internet, for gentlemen's favorite video, where this guy talked about how the Soviet Union, he found out that it takes 15 years for someone to get propagated. But to me, 15 years of propagation can be broken in like two months, really. Propagation of anti statism isn't very strong. I can tell you how it would work. The whole stereotype is that people are lemmings. It's a common anti-propaganda. Propaganda describe people as lemmings and that if you try to tell, explain to them something that they won't listen or they won't change their views and it's very funny how people label each other bigots when they themselves are bigots. Now, <coughs> because states are fantasy structures, they're very ad hoc. Who keeps opening that fucking door? Okay, anyway, um... That was creepy. Now, because they're ad hoc, they only have a very limited amount of values. That's the one thing that I feel is very successfully encapsulated by my nationalism and patriotism four part video series that wasn't completed. That there's just such a very limited amount of things that a state could make someone value, and that's how this fantasy structure best works under a very ad hoc nature. And if you look at this in the Constitution, there's very, very few values, but they're the fundamentals that without these values, everyone would be miserable if you simplify things up for a bit. But people don't look at these things in a very simplified manner. People aren't ad hoc in nature. You can tell this naturally by the way people interact with each other. Well, natural re relationships like your standard family without the whole ghetto drama. That why do you care about your dad if you're like a two year old guy who's always been with his dad? But there's multiple reasons. It's not just because he's your dad. It's it's very intangible and emotional, but it's complicated. Or your mom, or your some your friends that you've been neighbors with or things of that kind of nature that it's not ad hoc and of course the way you can tell that states are actually making lemmings is if you actually do make good empirical arguments. I mean really good empirical arguments. You cite the stateless societies. 
and you start to rationalism behind why they're working because they're stable societies. And in doing so, they say, well, I support a state anyway because what it gives me, these values that I have, are very convenient. Then that's when you know that they've been um, actually legitimately put into a lemming state of mind. And that's what I love about the term to say. It really describes... <coughs> the very nature of that entity, that system. I don't know which. But that it's a very ad hoc, conditional thing. That isn't this unconditional, complicated little machine. And if you can cite the good empirical arguments and try to convince 95% of the people who actually understand your arguments, then those people have just been propagated for 15 years or less or more. And uh, It only takes like two months, really, and it can just like um snap out of it. However, the very nature Do you need to use the restroom? Yeah. Okay, why can't you just fucking say that? Why are you in the bathroom? I'm making a video. Guy's stupid. Okay. Shit. People, and the kind of nature it takes for you to get these good empirical arguments, understand them, and the rational arguments to back up those empirical arguments these non fallacious ones and you s find that the state's still much more convenient then you haven't been propagated because what you've had is that your very innate nature has been mutated a little bit mutated to a core where it's <coughs> 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 To where it's ad hoc. To where you, there's these um very tangible, very simplified values that you have. That you feel that this is the center towards your eology. This little fallacious thing. Whatever happens to be. That's what you gotta worry about. With everyone else, with 97, 98% of the status world, all you gotta do is you gotta cite the empirical arguments and the good rationalism to back up those empirical arguments. Those actual anarchist communities or stateless societies, whatever you want. And all else becomes ancillary institutional arguments and things of that nature and in short if they still even while getting it don't change and it's not propaganda it's not 15 years in a school camp it's that the very nature that everyone has it's kind of mutated and how could it mutate? How could it ultimately alter? Well, kind of like the conversion of natural born gays to straights. Um, it's not really natural. It 
kind of plays a very strange psychological role. But it happens. When, whether it's reasonable or not, whether it's legit or not, the argumentation isn't the issue because there is this little ad hoc thing, whether it be God or something of that nature. So I'm apprehensive about whether I should make this video private or not. I try to make other takes, try to see if I can say what I did now, but just shorter. But that's all I gotta say. Sleep on red, whatever. <laughs>